Hello everyone, Guy in the Shell here. So this is the first bonus episode following our introduction to assembly video. In the introduction to assembly video, we use the Intel syntax for assembly, as you can see on the left of the screen. Now, if we use a compiler like the GNU AS compiler that understands the AT&T syntax, and we try to compile hello.asm into the object file hello.o, we get all sorts of error because this is not the right syntax. So we need to change the syntax bit by bit. So sections are not introduced by the section keyword, so we can remove that. str is an address that designates a string variable. This is defined like that, rather than a data byte before. And also it needs to be everything there, so I need to put the backslash n there. Now, strlen, we don't want to be an address, we want to be a value. So we replace the definition of, of a label and the declaration of the fact that it's a number by the equal sign. And we were saying it was the current address minus str. The current address is now dot rather than dollar. Okay, global does not exist. This is dot golbl. Start is fine. And then, well, everything gets a bit different. So all those move instructions, they need to take the size of what they are moving so they can move uh, either 8 bits, 16 bits, 32 bits, or 64 bits. So we don't need to move the entire 64 bits of our registers except for the str address. But, you know, we are using 64-bit registers, so let's just do uh, 64 bits always. So uh, move come in a few flavors, and what we want is the move Q, which moves a Q word, and the Q word will be a 64-bit word. So move Q is what we want. Then in uh, at and assembly, you first put the value and then the destination. And the value, when it's a constant, you use dollar. So dollar one, that's the number one, we want to put that in racks. Dollar one. We want to put that in RDI. STR len, we want to put that in RDX. And STR, we want to put that in RSI, sorry. The other thing is that those uh, registers, they are prefixed by the person sign so that it knows that we are talking about registers. Okay, we need to do the same thing here. So we move 60 into RAX with the person sign and we move 42 into RDI with the person sign. Now we can try to compile. We can try to link and we can try to execute. And that works. And that's it for this bonus episode. Bye-bye.